Now this, Pepsi, that's the latest big company to announce bonuses because of the tax law. They'll pay a total of $100 million to their workers, up to $1,000 apiece. Mm -hmm. Grover Norquist, Americans for Tax Reform guy, he keeps track of all of this. This is a big one, isn't it? Because there's a lot of workers at Pepsi. It is. Those numbers keep uh, growing, but... At ATR.org, we have the complete list of everybody who said we're giving a bonus because of the Republican tax cut. We're over about uh, three and a half million Americans. We should hit four million probably by Friday, but we'll, uh, we'll let you know. So it's um, growing all. You, you think you'll see the time when every single one or virtually all of these Fortune 500 companies pays a bonus? Yeah, we keep hearing from companies that, well, we're going to do it when we have an earnings report we have to do, that they, they make these decisions. It didn't all happen in January. Uh, I don't think we've seen more than a tenth of the Fortune 500 companies yet reporting, but we're, we're getting there. Okay, now, you're a tax guy. You, you don't like taxes. You're Correct. all about cutting taxes. Mm -hmm. But how do you feel about the government spending all this money, an extra $300 billion in the next two years? I mean, you know, we, we face a debt bomb. You can't be happy about that. Uh, no, the government is spending too much money now to the increase is expensive. Uh, you know, look, we have a series of reforms. I would be much happier if the Pentagon had spent the last year looking for reforms in spending and then come and said, well, we could save this much. They, they own a lot of spectrum uh, that, they, that, that they don't need, that they should be selling off. They own a lot of land they could be selling off. Uh, they should really be, they have a pension system. Uh, that needs to be reformed. We need to move towards defined contribution the but way we're the not, rest of the we, world Grover? has. I mean, we're, we're not. I mean, no. I, I can't see a political party, and certainly not the president, who does not want to spend money. We've all become big spenders, haven't we? Well, there's some good news in, in the budget, but it's a list of things that won't happen until the Republicans get the House and Senate reelected. Uh, they want to reform a series of the entitlement programs, particularly welfare, uh, some of the things I think they can do immediately, ask for your Social Security number if you want to get uh, a, a refund on your, your, your federal income tax so that there's only one of you and so that it is, it is you. They ask for yeah. Social Security numbers so that some of the benefits that people get to make sure that people are citizens, that they actually live here, that there's a person... There's, not, just, there's one person at Grover, the end of that. It just worries me when we keep on mm -hmm. saying we should do this and we ought to do that, but we don't. We don't. We just keep on spending, and we've got a trillion-dollar deficit 18 months yeah. from now. Not good. Last word to you. I agree, but the, the reforms written down are all things that can and will pass when we can do it with 51 votes in the Senate. Uh, these can be done through reconciliation. Uh, so I look forward to that. I don't think it happens this year. They've decided not to do reconciliation mm. for reasons that I don't quite understand or agree with. But we get a Republican House and Senate then all of the list of things that they want to do okay. that are very substantial on reining in government okay. spending Let's see. can be done. Grover, I'm out of time, but thanks for joining us, sir. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right. Next